Yeah. Okay. We are live. Good morning. Good morning, all. Let me check this, the the sound. Um, okay. Good morning, all. Yeah, it's working. All right. Welcome, Martijn. Yeah. This one, uh, just told him I'm a bit nervous, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> uh, because we're gonna do it blind. Yep. And. How long have uh, we've been working on this? Uh, you have been working on this. I don't know how, how many hours you've been measuring, but I think it's a, <laughs> an impressive amount of hours. Uh, a couple of weeks, I think. I've yeah. been um, busy with uh, <laughs> switches. Honestly, I can't see a spectral analyzer <laughs> anymore. <laughs> it's been, uh, I've been bugging them as well um with <laughs> yes. um, loads of measurements and uh, yeah i found something and uh, yeah a lot of comments and on facebook to you guys i'm really sorry for uh sharing all the mystery uh graphs and measurements uh, for the past couple of weeks well what do you expect a network guy and a music uh, music <laughs> <and> nerd <laughs> can play with switches well then you get it <laughs> yeah well uh, yeah yeah i was kind of in my ecosystem so <laughs> to say you were in the zone i was in the zone <laughs> but um people that follow alpha audio know that uh, i've been working on figuring out why uh, there's an audible difference in switches. Yes. Um, I, I've been working on this for years now. And a couple of years back, um, I was not a believer. Uh, and But a demo from AudioQuest, I think, uh, bugged me because uh, they actually showed that a cable could make a difference. And I said, yeah, <laughs> sure. You've been doing something with switches or power supplies or uh, I didn't really believe it, um, even after the demo, but it still bugged me. And after a while I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna play around. I've, I've got loads of gear in, mm -hmm. uh, in, in the office. And I said, if there is a difference, there should be a huge difference between copper cable and fiber. And that's how I found yep. out about the fiber tweak. And it, I've been playing that with that for years. And I think a lot of readers from Alpha Audio as well. But um, recently I figured out that a decent audio file switch is actually better than fiber. And then I really wanted to know why. Um, because th that doesn't make any sense. And then you've been playing around with your standard switch. Yeah, here in the office, with yeah. a, which is a managed switch, and then with different protocol layers and exactly whatever. with priorities yeah. and and uh, uh, quality of service settings, and that that actually makes a difference. I'm I'm blown away by that. But um, now we have eleven switches. Eleven of them, yeah. <laughs> eleven. So <laughs> we'll be online for a couple of hours. Uh, I don't expect you to stay for that long, but uh, we have 11 switches. You don't know even which ones. Well, I've seen uh, the oh. list, but... but uh, oh, yeah, yeah, you've seen the list. I've shared it online, of course, but uh, nah, you do know. But you don't know anything about which one is no. which. I've got the list here. They're actually behind me on that side. and You can see it on the other camera. He can't see the switches, so that, that's a good thing. Um, I do know which one is playing, of course, and I'm going to share the measurements with you yep. during our discussion about what you hear. And one of the contenders of today, I just reviewed, yeah. put a review online. I'm curious if you can hear it. I'm curious as well, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a different system, of course. Yeah. Uh, but the, the, you were talking about some properties of the switch, and yeah. uh, I'm, I'm curious if you can hear the same here. But yeah. I, I, I don't know. It's uh, um, for all the people at home. We uh, of course have our reference system ready to be for for playing music. It's the TAD Evolution Two uh, Pulse Labs Pre and Power Amp. Um, we play this time not with the Alpha PC, but with the Metrum Acoustics Ambre. The reason is that it's a decent mid-range streamer well i think for a lot of people this is uh, as good as it gets in most cases 
it's a really good streamer. It's a really good streamer, yeah. Uh, but it's not like a 4,000 euro oh. transport or anything like that. It, it's affordable. Uh, 1,200 bucks, still a lot of money, of course, but um, it's a good streamer. I know it, it can show some differences, uh, but the Alpha PC is tweaked with audio file Ethernet cards and stuff like that. I don't want that to be in the way. Um, I don't reclock anything this time. Okay, so the Mutech is... The Mutech... Uh, is the Mutech in between? It's coax. Uh, no, it's not in between. Okay. No. I'm going to check that. I'm, I'm pretty sure it isn't, but I want to know for sure it isn't. <laughs> um, I don't use any audio file Ethernet cable as well. It's standard Cat6 shielded cable. Yep. Nothing fancy. Uh, you can see it because now it's um, bridged. So we don't we don't have any switch contenders in between now. You can see it in the oh I have to switch on the light. Uh, there's a just a piece of coupling in between the two cables because I route it from the server room to here mm -hmm. and then from there to, to the, the streamer. Uh, okay. So if I switch the switch, haha, uh -huh, um, I switch two cables. So it it gets the data from the server room and then I transport it to the streamer. I hope that's all clear. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna switch on one extra light and I'm gonna check if the coax cable is directly into the sonnet because I don't wanna reclock anything this time. No. Uh, then you can talk about the music. Yeah. Uh, well, because it's such a long test and we have to listen to, uh, to 11 times uh, the same music, um, we chosen to have a very short track list uh, this time. Uh, only two songs. Um, but um, I've been playing around with the with the music to s to select uh, uh, to s to see what will happen, yeah. um, and I have two pieces. One are from the Talking Heads, "Mommy, Daddy, You and I" from the album Naked. Um, it's a good test track for this purpose because there's a lot of um, small instruments in uh, the stereo image, so the imaging is uh, important, and there's a lot of um, acoustic instruments in there as well. So um, and it's swinging, so it needs to have a kind of pacing and a rhythm, uh, which is also important. Oh, sorry, Siri. <laughs> um, <laughs> and the second one is uh, a short part of a piano piece from... Um, and now the composer eludes me, so I have to peek. Uh, That's not like you. No. I had a, I had a Scarlatti, the Domenico Scarlatti. He had a Sorry. Christmas dinner yesterday. I had a Christmas dinner yesterday, yeah. <laughs> um, Domenico Scarlatti, played by uh, Yevgeny Sudbin, a Russian uh, piano player. It's a wonderful rendition of the, that music. Um, but I found out already earlier that if you s listen to solo piano, yeah. you hear so much oh, in, yeah. the, in the richness of sound. And switches make a huge difference on piano. In so the harmonics, in especially. The harmonics. Yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah. So rhythm, pacing and imaging and the harmonics. So th these two pieces should tell us everything. Okay. Um, we won't play the whole Domenico Scarlatti piece because that's seven minutes, but it has mm -hmm. a natural pause after uh, uh, roughly two minutes. Uh, two minutes. So um, I think we'll play the, those, those two pieces as a whole and then we comment on what we hear. Cool. Um, I think the baseline, uh, we only need one track. You know this system pretty well. Yep. Um, it's all about the differences in switches, not about uh, the minute details, because we only have two tracks. But the, the only thing for me, this live stream is uh, one, can you hear a difference? Yep. Two, do my measurements say anything? Yes. I hope they do. <laughs> Otherwise, your work would will have been for nothing. Well, uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it, it, this was a quite intensive and expensive <laughs> test, honestly. <laughs> yeah, um, but I'm um, well. I'm not. I'm not that sure, actually. 
Uh, we're gonna see because uh, we we'll, we we'll talked in Munich to the people from yeah. uh, Inuus. Yeah. Uh, one of the people engineering the, on the network part, and you had a very long discussion. Yeah, with a it. long discussion <laughs> with that guy. It was a lot of fun, though. Yes. Yes, yeah. that, that was great. Um, and uh, he said a, s a few things which triggered you. So I think that. Oh, he uh, triggered me. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we'll we'll definitely gonna hear. Uh, uh, yeah. something today and also see if the measurements uh, uh, align oh the, someone's asking where do you have the measurements uh, they're not online yet but i'm going to share them this live stream with you i'm going to share my screen uh, so i hope we can pretty much directly um, correlate yep yeah that's it um, and on monday i think maybe tuesday i think monday uh, the test will be live on alphaaudio.nl and the next day on .net the English uh, website um, yeah uh, one thing please we have a patreon page I don't like to beg but we really need support and these tests are a huge amount of work so we really appreciate it if you can support us on patreon I'll share the link in the comments um, I don't like to ask for money but you know I have I have to live <laughs> and they too um, let's start with the first track, yes. shall we? Let's see. Uh, you uh, have the, uh, you have the remote. Yeah. You do the music. I do the music. Yeah. I do the switching. Yep. Okay. That's fine. Uh, do we have the? Uh, I want to have the the volume back at seventy five again. The um, uh, oh. decibel me me meter. There it is. Okay. Uh, I'll first then. Yeah, that's a good one. Ooh, uh, Aesthetic. First, some white noise, and I'll switch off the mics for a second. Okay, first track. Oh, I have to select the audio device. Oh, yeah, uh, um, Alpha Armor. Hey, there it is. Audio zone, sorry. Yeah. He's sorry for the blisters on our feet Come riding in a bus, the high and the low Mommy, Daddy, you and I We're going on a trip and not going home Mommy, Daddy, you and I Take advantage, but saying it don't make 
Nice piece of piano, man. Yeah, this is beautiful. But wow. I already hear this is gonna be the judge. That's uh, this, this, this one is much harder. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is gonna be the judge. I'm gonna switch. Yep. Uh, I know he can't see it, so. No, I won't look. No. And the streamer will be back in a second. Um, if everything works out fine, that is, should be back in a second. <laughs> should be back in a second. <laughs> Sometimes okay. Rune is weird. Uh, come on, Metrum. I do see a network. Oh, that's weird. I'm going to try another one. We'll try this one after the break. Of course, when you want something to work, it's oh. Oh, it's pretty much stuck. Let me try this one then. Okay, that's odd. Yeah, here it is. Yeah. Hmm. I hope this one will work then. No worries, we'll fix it. Um, okay, then I have to swap two of them. Yep. Yep. Um, ready? I'm ready. Take advantage by saying it don't make 
Christmas comes Cause we've heard that up north it gets cold I leave it up to you, man. We've got our first comment that this is not a blind test. Uh, is this not a blind test? Okay, then it's not a blind test. No. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not gonna. No, I'm not gonna comment on that. Um, okay. Yeah, it's uh, having a switch instead of not a switch makes a huge difference in terms of how stable the image is. And I, I call it always uh, the amount of stress that you feel in the music it's um it's much less than it than it was um with the reference the first that we that we heard um but i noticed with the talking heads that um the slide guitar the rhythm guitar sorry the rhythm guitar on the left side uh was much more pronounced and coming more towards you than it was with the first uh, time that we heard it yeah and uh, with the piano piece, um, well, the notes were richer in sound, and um, the silence, in especially the silence in between the notes at the start of the of the track, mm -hmm. um, that silence was more like silent and yep. not as stressy as it was the first time. Um, I know this can sound even better than it than it did right now, so. There's still something to be gained in the piano piece, um, but it's already a lot nicer than it was the first time. Um, yeah, uh, I, I, I do agree. Uh, it's definitely more silent, which is odd. Okay. No, 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 it's not odd because the measurements actually say it should be more silent. Okay. <laughs> no, no worries on that, but I still find it odd because we're talking about really, really, really low level. Yes, <laughs> it's. I mean, micro volts. We're talking about. Yeah, but but micro volts are the things that are in decks. So decks are working on micro volts. I. I that's absolutely true. Yeah. That that's what it makes it actually more black and more silent. And what we shouldn't forget is um, there will be much more measurements because later on, because I actually measured a deck uh, with and without an uh, an audio file switch. And you can measure noise on the output from okay. the switch. Okay. That's ridiculous, but it does happen. And the DAC actually feeds it to the preamp, and the preamp feeds it to the power amp, and the power amp amplifies yep. that small signal. So you get more restlessness yep. in the imaging. Um, 
Also, this time, I think we forgot to say, the power supply of the switches that we are uh, testing today, mm -hmm. the power supply is a power supply as it comes with yeah, the switch. Yeah, everything is stock. Yep. So, no uh, S-boosters, i5s, farads, nothing. And I'm not going to test that in this test because it's, go it's going to be way too much work and the stream will be way too long. Um, someone left the chat. I know that that I know that person, he did the same on Facebook, so please ignore him or her, whatever. Um, it's not interesting. He didn't believe in the blind test. He, I invited him over, so he, but he didn't. Um, let's get back to this that's, test. That's good for them. Yeah, well, leave him. I don't care. Um, I know what we're doing. He doesn't know what's playing. He just knows which switches, which which isn't interesting because there are eleven of them. So guessing which one is going to be really hard. Uh, impossible. Impossible. Uh, and even then, I mean, uh, where's the fun? Yeah, if we didn't do it. I, I mean, we do it for fun, also for ourselves. And so. I don't sell anything. No. So I don't care. <laughs> but people don't believe it. Okay, then don't believe it. We said it before in the live stream. If you, you can either trust us or you don't. No. Um, yeah. And if you don't, then don't. And yeah. I actually thought about inviting uh, someone over because Jung uh, couldn't be here today, yep. unfortunately. But it was yesterday evening and inviting someone over, uh, a third party. I'll definitely do it next time to make it more trustworthy if people don't trust our integrity. Even, even then, I mean, uh, if I'm into that kind of... Um, not believing us yeah. then you can also we could prep that person yeah so well, yeah there's no way that you can control it so <laughs> no. you either believe us or you don't anyway i thought uh this one was more fresh i heard more mids yep. and highs yes uh it was less cloudy so yep. to say yeah yeah the bass was a bit tighter um but also yep. a bit m less pronounced yeah yep. yeah a little bit more lean yep. than the other one than the bass line yeah. Um, let's go to the next one. Yeah. This one, I'm really curious. Yeah, don't, don't say that. Because <laughs> no, but it, it could could be both ways. Yeah, that's true. So you don't know. That's true. Um. Wait for the green light. Um, the green light on the uh, metron. Yeah. 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 It it, it, it needs to boot up. Um, for your um, uh, knowledge, uh, some are already powered up because they have a clock, and the clock needs to be warmed up for at least thirty minutes. So I already powered them up. Uh, the other ones don't have uh, an OCXO or a special clock so they don't need to be warmed up that's not because we don't want to give them some fair advantage it's just how it works and i actually saw the influence of the clock uh in my measurements the, the noise floor does go lower okay. uh, if it warms up uh, once that's boot up no no not, not yet because i want to share the measurements okay. with them yep. um I'm, i'll keep it short and the explanation of all the measurements will be in the article so don't worry. Um, I'm going to share my laptop now. Yeah, there they are. Is this the right one? Yeah. So you can see on screen which one this was. Martijn doesn't know. Um, I'll walk you through. This is the... Uh, let's see if it all works. Yeah, it works. This is the graph with all the measurements uh, in one screenshot. So the purple line is when the port is loaded. <coughs> so there is a signal on another port. The blue line is the power supply noise with the load. And the yellow line is the baseline. So that's the base noise. It is 
active the port but it's not loaded with the white noise we inject in another port to see how good the port isolation works and this is them in detail so you know green is good orange is already a higher noise and you can see here it it's at minus 60 dbu dbm sorry it's pretty good um but you can see they tweaked it actually uh once you see the other graphs, you, you see that, that this is uh, uh, good, but not exceptional. The, the yellow one is really good, actually, and it's really uh, clean. Uh, there's no spikes or, or anything else, so it's a, it's a very nice, clean signal. Um, so if the, the switch is not loaded very heavily, it stays very silent, and that's, I think, what we heard. The noise floor of the power supply is really good. It's really really silent so they did a good job there so this is what i'm going to share every in-depth explanation will be in the written article but as you can see it's a good switch uh, port isolation is average but the uh, idle and power supply noise is really good so uh, it was fun to hear let me go back to the uh, other one this one you ready? I'm ready. Yeah. This one is ready. Okay. Yep. Uh, you you see the streamer online? Yes. It's oh, um, cool. Yeah. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna switch to the other mics.
Well, well, um, yeah. What was with um, with Supin, the the piano piece and uh, Scarlatti piece? Um, the um, left hand, so the bass line was much more audible than with the first switch. Mm -hmm. um, and there were some, there are some very little detailed notes in the, at the start, which sounded wonderful on this. Um, not uh, better than the f the, the with the first uh, switch, um, but there's less separation of the notes than with the su first switch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there's um, is is not as calm as with the first switch. Um, I agree. But the pacing is better. Oh, that's re that that's surprising. Yeah, I like the pacing more on the on the second one. <laughs> um, the um, with the talking heads, uh, what I heard for the first time clearly was that there's a, a brush and a, uh, on the uh, on the drums. So he uses a brush with the on first the, one. Yeah, no, with the um, talking heads. Yeah, yeah, with the uh, first switch. Uh, with or this with switch. this one. With this one, yeah. So that was more noticeable. Wow. Um, and uh, the reverb of the drum was also better than with the first switch. The bass is deeper, but not as tight. Um, no. And what was very clear is that the mouth organ, which was very prominent with the first switch, was more recessed in the sound stage uh, uh, with this switch. Um, and the whole image is a bit flatter than with, uh, so less depth than with the first switch. I um, agree. Yeah. And left right is more separated than with the first switch. That was more coherent. Uh, and here it was more apart. Yeah. Uh, uh, more mids, less highs, but also less air. Definitely. Uh, I thought it was uh, less calm. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, but you Damn. know the difference with with a less calm a more calm is that um, what I've already noticed many times before that um, there is something if there is an absolute silence and absolute calmness, mm -hmm. you lose something of the excitement and or in the music. Sometimes. It's the balance it's that the balance. counts. Yeah. Okay. I and yeah yeah I can imagine. Here, I liked it actually. So it was <laughs> musical more than 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 the first one. I didn't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I'm. Um, uh, you made my life a lot harder now. Okay. <laughs> um, let's switch to the laptop and show you some um, measurements. Uh, this was one of the worst. Okay. <laughs> not not the worst. <laughs> not not the worst, but um, I know th it's much more noisy mm -hmm. than the other one, and I think that's what makes it less calm. Yes, uh, that, that's that's something that you there hear is absolutely more noise in this one than in the previous one. But but we don't connect these switches in the system, so the noise from the power supply is on a different power group now. Okay. That makes a huge difference because I actually auditioned a couple of them uh, during my measurements to see what I'm looking at. And if I connect it in the system, it's much more harsh than now. Because I was actually surprised. I was like, oh shit, this is not bad at all. So if you keep your switch from the power gr group in, uh, in your uh, system, uh, it's different actually. Uh, but as you, if, if you look at the measurements, blue was the power supply, uh, you see a big red line now. Uh, that's at 6 megahertz, so it's way up in the band. Um, but this one, and I'm going to do that with the LHY as well, I didn't have the time. Uh, in the lower segments, in the lower frequency range, it's also very noisy, as you can see. Uh, it's, it's, not a, it's a switch mode power supply which is not really well regulated, so it's noisy. And in a server rack, it doesn't matter, but in a hi-fi system, it does matter. The noise actually goes above the port noise, which is <laughs> really bad. 
Um, and in, as you can see in idle mode uh, right here, there's also more switch noise than with the previous one, which is a lot cleaner than this one. Uh, you can see that here, a couple of lines and a big red line, uh, even in idle mode. So it's, it's really noisy. So in the silent parts, this one should be less black than the previous one. Oh, I, th I think, if my theory is correct. I, I think it is, yeah. Yeah. Uh, during load, it peaks also at the beginning, a big red line. So even it doesn't matter if it's idle or not idle. It's more noisy in the lower frequency range. And I think that's the most important range because um, that's what we actually, actually can hear as hiss or not blackness. And it doesn't... Uh, I have to look further into the influence on clocking and stuff like that. But this one should just be less black and less calm than the previous one, if if my measurements say anything at all. That's uh... so you made my life a little bit harder. Yeah, because the 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 the, the little notes um, at the start of the of the piano were much more audible. Yeah. So the the little um, things he does with the notes. Th that that yeah. surprised me yeah. actually. But uh, okay, uh, yeah, it's a D-Link uh, 1210. It doesn't matter. Martijn already auditioned it, and his notes are already on there. But um, um, okay, um, let's get to the next one. Yep. And I'm not gonna say anything. Uh, I misspoke now. Sorry. Shit. But um, okay, next one. Uh, yeah. I have to grab some stuff to put it in the picture now. Oh, the speakers staan op die uh, op die dingen. Ja. Ja, ja. Oh. Ja, dat moet er wel zijn. Ja, maar dat maakt er wel iets uit in het geluid. Ja. Iets heel veel denk ik. Vooral de bas. Ja, het laag is uh, anders. Ja, klopt. Yeah, he just found out that I'm using the AAI feed. Yeah. Um, that explains the bass. Yeah, it, it it it's different with these with the spikes. Yeah, okay. That's a whole other stream, but I do like the AAI midis. Um, decoupling does work, uh, but I have the discs at home now <laughs> with, with the uh, with the ATCs, and it made a huge difference because I was using um, coins <laughs> to su to save the floor. I have a wooden floor. And the the uh, ATC SCM40As are pretty heavy, yeah. so my <laughs> wife was not really happy when uh, <laughs> when I was messing up the floor. So I use the discs and I use the AAIs now. Um, I do like them; they're better than the Blue Horizon discs, but uh, they're really expensive. But yeah. they they do work yeah. actually. Yeah. Um, Okay, next one is uh, up. Oh. oh yeah, it's already booted up. Is it boot? Yeah, it's yeah. I see uh, uh, an image. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Sorry for the blisters on our feet. Come riding in a bus, the high and the low. Mommy, daddy, you and I are going on a trip and not going home. Mommy, daddy, you and I, I drive, keep driving.
this little trip Driving all the way up It's pretty below Mommy, Daddy, you and I Even little kids get ready to go Mommy, Daddy, you and I, I Chili, chili All right. Please make my life a little bit easier now. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I can make your life, your life easier. Um, reverb is, um, that was the thing that I noticed immediately. Also with, with the first note of the talking heads and also with the piano piece, uh, reverb is much more pronounced and longer, yeah. but also more um, in depth um, with the um, start of uh, talking heads. Uh, there's on the drums, on the, on the guitar, mm -hmm. uh, uh, an attack, and you heard the decay in the in the depth of the uh, of the of the imaging. Yeah. Um, the pacing is much better uh, on this one. 
Cool. Um, <laughs> uh, the transients. Uh, it's because of the transients. Uh, transients, I think. I think the transients were uh, the fastest so far, and yeah. also very sharp on the attack, uh, which made the talking heads more swinging, which it should do. Yeah. Um, and with the piano, the small piano notes, uh, more separation in between the piano notes, which is a transient thing again. Yeah. Um, the bass was less pronounced than with the previous, but it was much tighter and much more textured, uh, better, I think, in yeah. the end. Um, I do think, in hindsight, that the first switch, the bass was a little bit lighter, but even deeper than with this one. But The first one? Yeah, the first switch. Yeah, that, that that's really hard for me to yeah. get back to, but... Yeah. Yeah. The, I like this. Uh, uh, in terms of yeah. music, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, the Talking Heads I really like because it had that swing, which it should have. Um, and uh, with uh, the piano piece, the, the pacing and the melody, um, that's that's how I like to hear it. Yeah. For, for me uh, as well, I really yeah. like this. Yeah. Let's get to the measurements. Yeah. Tell well, me. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually one of the most silent switches I've measured. Okay. Yeah. Even um, uh, from all, actually. Not in power supply, but it is one of the best in terms of noise from the Ethernet port. Okay, so it's that's the noise coming off the Ethernet yeah, port into the into streamer. into the streamer. Yep. It's ridiculously silent. Okay. And there's... Um, uh, no noise from the port going back into the power supply. I measured exactly the same noise, loaded and unloaded, in the power supply. Okay. Which is remarkable, actually. Um, but this one is technically one of the best. Okay. As you can see, the purple line is the loaded port. It's really low. It, it goes up a little bit here, but then it, it, it lowers again. The isolation from the port is really, really good on this one. Um, blue is the power supply noise, of course, yeah, well, it's a, it's a standard switch mode, so there are limitations, but it's still very good. It's not as good as a linear power supply, but it's really good for a stock switch mode power supply. Port, no port noise in idle mode is also really low, and you can see that here in the graphs with all the colors, it's all green. It's ridiculously silent. And I was surprised now that I hear it, that there's actually some calmness. I liked this one. Yeah. It's uh, it's just good. But also the, the pacing, that pacing part. Uh, so you said yeah. it doesn't have a linear power supply. So nope. I, sorry, I heard that. But um, yeah, you did. But, yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, for me, yeah. uh, that's the th that, that's the, the the pacing is is something. The the, the the timing is something. Yeah. Which I'm. Some ca somehow very sensitive to, uh, and uh, or rather, that's where my preferences, hearing preferences, are. And this one I like. This was like swinging. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I did like this one. Cool. Getting somewhere. I hope. <laughs> well, we have uh, a we'll few have more to go. <laughs> we have a lot more to go. Um, yeah, I'm gonna switch to another one. Yeah. Um, maybe you can explain what the goal of this test is and how we see a blind test because there's already another discussion going on. Oh. Yeah, Dave. Oh. Dave. Well, people, um, what are we testing today? We are testing uh, 11 different switches. Um, which Jaap has been measuring for uh, some time. Um, I'm hearing them and listening to them. Uh, they are over my shoulder there, where Jaap is working right now. I'm not looking at them. Is this a blind test? Uh, well, from a side, for me, it's a blind test uh, because I don't know what's playing and I'm just judging things on my ears. Um, is this scientific? No. No. No, no, no way. Um, I am a science methodologist, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to have a discussion with me, please try. Um, um, it's not the goal to be scientific. No, no, no. I mean, if you would do this, I, I'd, um, um, I wouldn't even know how to do this in a scientific way. Well, no. I know how to do this in a scientific way, but that's 
nearly impossible to execute. So yeah. um, that's not the goal. Uh, the goal is to try to have an impression of if you measure stuff, if you listen to stuff, and you don't know what you're listening to. For us, I mean, uh, I already talk with Jung uh, a lot. Uh, when we are on the couch and we don't know what's playing and we just listen it's different. And, we, and we take our notes, for us, it's a very different experience than yeah. when you know what's playing. Yeah. You are influenced by knowing what's playing. For us, yeah. it's more fun, actually. So we do this because it's more fun for us. And for me, the goal, sorry to yep. interrupt, for me, the goal is to compare his notes, not my notes, because I'm already biased, his notes to my measurements. Yep. My goal in life, so to say, not in life, of course, my goal in life is to, to be and stay happy. Uh, but my goal with Alpha Audio is to connect my measurements to what we hear. And yep. this is the best best methodology we can actually execute. The thing that we are, which is achievable to us. Yeah. Also, if we would do this uh, next week uh, with the same switches in the same setup, I would have different notes. Um, not completely different, of course, but I would have different notes because in the small um, details, you hear things, uh, things differently. Um, so is this objective? No, it isn't. It's subjective. Uh, is this scientific? No, it isn't. Is yeah. it blind for me? Well, it is blind for me. Can I look over my shoulder? Yes, I can. Will I do it? No, I won't because where's the fun for me? Um, so that's, um, that's what the last thing I want to, would like to. Yeah, th this is the last time we, 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 we talk about this. And uh, Dave, why don't we uh, measure the actual audio then? If it was that easy, all audio manufacturers would do that. I talked to dozens of uh, engineers and they all say that the day we can actually measure differences from the output of an amp, that day we will celebrate as the whole, uh, as a community that we found... Uh, a way to measure it. Yeah, th it's impossible, man. That, uh, please, so, that's so. not possible. And even if things think think people that it should be done differently uh, i challenge you yeah i uh, uh, really would like to see your uh, step your in yeah drink a cup of coffee tell us how to do it yeah but this this is where i stop because i'm actually quite sick of it uh we do our best uh and we sit here on a sunday come on give us a break um yeah next one it's booted up it's booted up okay then i will and start uh, the play yeah it's uh connected i see let's, let's go, go. He's sorry for the blisters on our feet Come riding in a bus, got high in the low Mommy, Daddy, you and I We're going on a trip and not going home Mommy, Daddy, you and I, I Drive, keep driving Take advantage, but say it don't. 
gonna make our way in this foreign land. Well, we we'll keep driving, keep driving. Right. Um, well, to start with uh, the last piece, uh, Yevgeny Shudbin. Um, the, um, um, the piano sounds, sounds ri richer, no. but it also sounds a lot harsher. Yeah. And um, <laughs> I thought you're going crazy, man. No, 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 no. Not rich. I mean, th it's it's fuller in uh, in 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 what what I what I hear in the notes, but it's also a lot harsher. So yeah. probably the emphasis in the mids are making it um, yes. sound more rich. Yes. Um, the attack of the piano notes is, and also the decay is much drier. Yeah. And well, overall, what I wrote down is the, the music line of the piece, so the build up of the piece, so it goes somewhere. Um, it doesn't grab me as much as it did with the previous three ones. <laughs> All and the guys in the chat said the same. Um, it's it it leaves me cold, and um, with and this should we really like well. Yeah. Um, we swept along with the music, and also I found it with the Talking Heads. There's a dry tick in the sound of the drums, which wasn't as nice. Um, there's a bit of a harsh sound. Um, less separation in the image. Overall impression, it's a mirror soundstage. And for all, uh, the, in the melody guitar, in the right speaker, uh, yep. on the right part, yep. that was, uh, well, sharp sounding, where it was much smoother and richer in the other ones. Damn, you made my life. Okay. Thank you. Um, I'm going to share the measurements. I'm, I'm starting to see some okay. similarities now. Thank God. We didn't do it for nothing. My laptop is acting up, uh, by the way. It's, it's a little bit weird. I think I'm too static for the mouse pad. <laughs> now, really, it's all over the place. Um, this is the uh, the switch. 
uh, you see it in the video as well um, this one is really bad uh, the, the the idle noise is really high the port isolation is really bad uh, so I I did of course put these next to each other after each other to see if there is a big difference in between these two uh, and there is mm -hmm. uh, at first I thought oh this is not bad actually but then I started to notice yeah. some things were off especially with the piano it was just boring yeah and with the last one it wasn't yeah uh, I think it's because of the noise uh, it's really noisy this one as you can see in this graph this is the uh, power supply noise idle is the well how do you say it light blue one i'm bad with colors i'm actually a little bit colorblind um and the the upper one the purple one is loaded it's a huge difference compared to the last one because there wasn't a difference at all with the previous one and now there's a big difference in the lower spectrum this is the loaded port with the previous one this was pretty much green <laughs> and now it's all orange and red um the skill i adjusted for the switches of course to make the discrepancy a little bit bigger this is just not a good switch now what i noticed also when uh reviewing uh, the switches um, uh, at home uh, the ones i reviewed wrote a review about yeah is that the differences between switches is kind of subtle yeah it um, is it is not like day and night difference in no sound stage or uh, bass mid high or whatever it is no but there are little differences which makes you feel like you are engaged by the music exactly or it leaves you cold yes and this is an example where it leaves you cold and that makes sense because the noise is really low yeah even with a bad switch it's low but there can be 20 30 db difference mm -hmm. so it's a couple of microvolts mm -hmm. but that couple of microvolts can influence the clock can influence your DAC and in the end give you some restlessness that makes it off. Yep. And that's the difference between a really good one, which is stable, loaded or not, power supply noise is low, and a bad one like this one, which is not stable and which is noisy. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that that's just what it does. So I'm I'm happy now already a little bit. Let's hope we can keep that trend. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, but this one is referring to switch number two, where you were a little bit surprised by my, yeah. my notes. Um, this one was. This one was worse. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's hope the the other one works now, because otherwise it's one less contender. Uh, it is connected. Let's. I'm gonna try it again. Let's see if it pops up. Otherwise, uh, this one will be out of the race, unfortunately, because I'm actually curious uh, with this one. I can do it. No. Now it's it's a semi-managed one we got in, and it doesn't. I'll try to uh, fix it in the lunch break. Okay. Which is in a half an hour. So I think we can do two more. Yep. Have a break and then see if I can fix this one. Yep. Um, oh yeah, this one is interesting as well. <coughs> I really want to get this one up. Because it's so nice. Let's I hear all the kind of clicking noises yeah. <laughs> behind me. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I'm just looking at the gr to see if the green light is coming on on the uh, on the on the <laughs> metro. <laughs> Some are very quick. Other ones are really <laughs> not quick. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Oh, it's there. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, the, you know the the unmanaged uh, plug and play stuff is is pretty quick. But um, yeah, and some of them are really good, as we noticed. Um, okay. You know what the funny thing in these tests is? It shows that more expensive is not necessarily better. That's that's the cool part. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll hear it at the end. 
Yeah, but uh, we've had that with uh, yeah, said well, these kinds of tests. Yes. I mean, with the amplifiers as well, yes. the, the most the cables. expensive cables. It's the same. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, Jeffrey is online. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Okay. Uh, Switch number five. You are ready. Okay. Uh, you know down which. Okay. Let's go. All the way from Baltimore We couldn't find a seat Conductor says he's sorry for The blisters on our feet Come riding in a bus Driver is 
What? Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, then we're back again. Okay. I think our vocal mics were still on then during the stream, but okay, we were silent, so it's okay. okay. Um, yeah. um, the the bass um, was very deep, but it had had texture still. I heard the strings of the bass guitar actually this yeah. time. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's more depth in the image. There's a rich tonality overall. And the guitar sounded really nice with this one. So both the rhythm guitar and the mel melody guitar, uh, they had a really nice sound. I it I thought it was really good. And also when David Byrne is singing um, um, in the... Um, uh, there's a part where Tina Weymouth is singing along with him in the background. And that separation was really nice this time. Yeah. Yeah, I, like I said, I didn't really like it with the first track, but the piano was surprisingly good. Um, that was perfect. Yeah, it was was was. I wrote it down perfect with the four exclamation marks. Damn. Okay, makes my life a little bit harder again. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but let's. Uh, no, no, no. It is what it is. I I was surprised as well. Uh, this is the switch. As you can see, it's the the white one on on top. Um, you can read it here. Wh which one it is this is power supply it is a lot cleaner than the previous one so that's an improvement the biggest difference though is not really um in idle because that's also really bad on this one but with a big difference in the lower frequency range it's cleaner oh. so maybe i don't need to go all up to 30 megahertz but still focus on the lower spectrum because there, this one is a lot better. Uh, I think that explains maybe the rich tonality. Yeah. It is still uh, with loaded port, not really good, but in the lower range, it's much better. Uh, so that's a big difference. Also with the idle port in the lower range, it's better than the previous one, but not as good as the other really good measuring one. Uh, the power supply is really dirty, but like I said, we have it on a different power group, so that doesn't really matter at all the, in this uh, test. If you plug it in your system, I'm pretty sure it will ruin your sound. Um, but a lot of you guys actually use a linear power supply, and that makes a whole lot of difference. Uh, I can measure that, and we actually heard it a couple of times that it does make a big difference. But this one is not exceptionally good, except for the lower frequency range, it does pretty well. So maybe I have to focus on that, but be, yeah. like I said, it made my life a little bit harder now. Um, no, but the strange thing is, with the piano... Yeah, it was good. How a melody is played so the intention yeah. of the player so what he tries to convey to you yeah uh, it came over in this instance as yeah i mean he was there playing for us and the melody line was yeah as it should be i mean that this this piece is really hard to play uh, well and he does it really well i have to say i i, I heard a lot of different uh, renditions from famous pianists and well Yevgeny Sudbin is doing a great job um so that i felt it uh yeah about 100 megabits versus uh, gigabits some uh are tuned to 100 megabits i know uh, one of them is tuned to 100 megabits i don't really believe in that they say it's lower noise whatever uh i don't actually believe in audio file clocks as well uh to be honest but yeah uh, if a switch is good, it's good. 90% uh, doesn't have a clock. The LHY does have a clock uh, and the Pura as well. Uh, Martijn doesn't know which one is playing. So if he says, whoa, this is really freaking amazing, maybe it's the clock. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I haven't been able to measure any difference uh, with or without a clock in terms of noise. Um, but yeah. yeah. Um, next one. So, lots of clicking noises again. Yeah. 
I have to say this is pretty hard to, to do. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I remember the one that I did with the uh, um, the, the filters, the, 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 the filters that inline filters that we, yeah. that we tested. Yeah. There the differences were much more pronounced than here with the switches. Yeah, that's really weird, isn't it? That so was it's pretty yeah. pretty easy to hear. Yes, and here it's a lot harder, I have to say. So it's the <laughs> And I had a, a Christmas dinner last uh, last night, so it's maybe that's <laughs> it's the a thing. Tough, <laughs> it's a tough job. Yeah. No, but I have to admit, um, uh, we did a, a, a live uh, bl a blind test with readers two years ago, and they all said, "Damn, this is hard." Yeah. The differences are really small. Yes. Uh, but like you said, it's it either clicks yep. or it doesn't, and yes. I think that's the thing. Yeah. Um, yep. Okay, it should be working now. Uh, I'm going to switch to the other one. He's sorry for the blisters on our feet Come riding in a bus, got high and low Mommy, Daddy, you and I We're going on a trip and not going home Mommy, Daddy, you and I, I Drive, keep driving
Oké. Okay. Um, ja. 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 Met de laatste piece, de piano. En ik heb al eerder gehoord, ook in de Talking Heads. De bass is een beetje swimming onder de rest van de notes. Het is alsof het separated van de mids en de highs een beetje. Ik schreef down met hmm. de piano. Het is alsof er de bass line uh, so the um, mm -hmm. left hand mm -hmm. is uh, separated from the right one, like there are two pianos playing. Mm. Um, you had that with the first one as well. Yeah. That's that. That's odd. Um, okay. Yeah. The pacing is nice, yeah. but the rhythm is a bit of stop go. So it's li like hammering on the on the notes. The <laughs> and uh, I didn't like that very much. It wasn't as as fluid. Okay. It cool. wasn't as fluid. That was uh, yep. not fluid. Um, but the talking heads, um, uh, I said already, the, the the rhythm is on on point, but it's a bit sharp also in the rhythm there, like with the piano. Yeah, um, like staccato. Yeah. Oh, uh, how to say? Yeah, it. I staccato, don't know if that's yeah. the English yeah. word, yeah. but yeah. yeah. Okay. But not as precise. So the rhythm was on point, but it wasn't like really on top um like uh, some i don't know how yeah to i don't know what you mean yeah a bit flowing f going all over the place mm -hmm. um and the voices were a bit sharp it was more fresh yeah. yeah but i also heard for me the notes on the piano were more clear like Better, yeah, yeah. better separated. separated. They were more separated. Yeah, there. so but I that's, could that's a stop go part of it. Yeah, I did like that. Okay, actually, but um. I, I, I know, know we do listen differently. Yes. Uh, I did like the inside and the, and uh, for me it was really calm. There was a lot of blackness and calmness and uh, definitely more calm than the previous one. Yeah, you didn't. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I can't remember because I was so swept on the, swept up in the in the melody line that I'm <laughs> I, I didn't care about it. At it, it, it is uh, striking though that you s uh, uh, talk again about the uh, rhythm. Um, yeah, that's funny. Okay. It's yeah, yeah, it's funny. That's uh, that that that's a thing I'm gonna note down because it, it's that's a trend. Um, okay. Uh, let me see. Let me show you some measurements. Uh, this one is interesting. Uh, yeah, laptop. Okay. I haven't put this one in the article yet because it was the last one we got in. Um, this is the power supply noise. It's really, really low. Uh, they did a great job on the power supply. Uh, this on the other hand is the idle noise and I know what they use and for me it's obvious that they should actually use another board because um, this can be a lot better uh, it's not bad it's a lot better than the stock version of course because of the power supply and, and stuff like that and it's still silent enough maybe uh, but in terms of measurement they can do better loaded port is really good um, especially in the low frequency range, uh, they did a good job. So all in all, uh, it's it's pretty well done. Don't be scared by this one because the scale is different. Uh, so it looks a lot worse than it actually is. Uh, I think they did a great job on the power supply and they did a great job on port isolation in this case. Uh, this one is 100 megabits. Um, I'm not sure about the other one, if it's 100 megabits. Uh, I have to check that, I don't think so. Uh, they use another brand and it was pretty clear because I know the other brand and it does measure a little bit better. But if they use uh, the one that we both liked a lot, it I think this switch can even do better. Um, yeah. So, uh, let me switch back to the couch. The couch hangers. There, there is yeah. a... Um. 
I did like it in in terms of calmness and uh, in yeah, terms of insight. Yeah, but um, there's a di- there's a difference of all these those switches. I mean, I, we heard six right now, and I'm I'm trying to to figure out for myself what I'm listening to and what are the the main differences that I hear and what triggers me and what doesn't. Is the rhythm part which triggers me? Mm-hmm. So is it? Yeah. yeah. There's a difference between pacing and rhythm. Pacing is um, how you feel the melody is going forward, especially with the talking heads. That's a very, it's it's a tricky one because it's not really swinging, but it should be swinging. Uh, but the, yeah. the, the 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 pacing of the music is a bit on the low side in in the song itself. So it's a yeah. very difficult thing to do to do right. Yeah. Um, yeah. True. Um, so that's a, a thing. And then I listen a lot to what in the mids are happening. Um, the voice, the slide guitar, the, r- the melody guitar in um, uh, the Talking Heads, yeah. but also with uh, Yevgeny Sutbin with the piano in the midst, the melody line, and especially with the, with the piano, the space in between the notes. So yeah. are these spaces void of sound, or is there some reverb uh, sound which connects those notes? Which what happened with five was that there was a sound still going on which connected those notes and then you get swept up in the that melody was gone? line and that was gone here. Oh wow. So it was yeah, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. there was really a note, silence, note, silence, note, silence. So the blackness, what you said. Yeah. Uh yeah, is, I, is, is the I liked it. Notes, but you know this piece better and um No, but that's that's uh how it um what it I, I'm analyzing it in my head. That's yeah. what the difference is. What what I hear and what happens to you when you listen to it. Um, so I think there should be some kind of connection between those little notes to get you swept up in the melody. It's the same with Adele uh, on the album Twenty One, mm-hmm. uh, the cover love song. Mm-hmm. The guitar is playing, and if your system is not really resolving, you don't hear that the guitar note goes on. Yeah. And it connects to the next one. Yes, that's what you want ding, to hear. Ding, ding. Yeah. And when my system got better and better, I got, now I can not hear it. Yeah. Uh, but I know that some DAX or amps actually cut it off. Yeah. And then it gets really boring, the intro. It's 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 odd. But uh, this is the same yeah. with the piano notes here and also the, the amount of reverb. So we had one with, with a lot of reverb, which was uh, number three. Yeah. Uh, but also reverb and fast transients in number yeah. three. So yeah. that's, yeah. Um, yeah. it can be done both. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. We're going to have some lunch. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, halfway. so yeah. we're halfway. Yeah, if we are halfway. Oh, that's funny. Um, so maybe you can try to get that. I up. hope I can get it to work, but it's actually uh, uh, hard to get it to work. This one, I know. So. Oh. If we can try it, and then you can prepare it before I. I have a non-tweaked version uh, somewhere. Okay. Uh, but that's not the n- that's not the tweaked version. Uh, I know that one does work. I'll try to get it to work. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's gonna be really hard, actually. Okay. Uh, you're a network guru, so if you can't get it to work, then yeah, but can. Th- 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 I'm not going to tell anything more because no, no, then no, no. Uh, you know which one it is. Um, yeah, I'll try. Uh, we're going to have some lunch. Yes. Uh, we'll be back in 30 minutes. So, okay. See you, see you later.
Okay, Martino, we're live. We're live again. Okay. Chatting in the <laughs> no. <alpha> group. <laughs> uh, yeah, also, but uh, I was also <laughs> checking uh, some comments from and uh, photographs from the uh, Christmas dinner from last night. Ah. They're all um, safe for work, so don't worry about that. No. Um, no, people are getting back online as well. That's great. Um, well, let's I think, recap I think for the people who have joined in uh, later yeah. on. Uh, we're, t switch we're testing today switches, yep. 11 of them. 11. Well, m maybe 10, because one isn't going oh. to work, I ten. am afraid. <laughs> but uh, I'll try to uh, connect uh, another one, a non-tweaked one in the end, and see okay. what uh, what that one does. We have our regular setup, except with uh, the streaming part. We use the Metrum Ambre as a, as a streamer. Yeah. It's connected directly into the dock. Yeah, directly coaxial. Coaxial. Uh, the Metrum is with a cable connected to the switches which are over my shoulder there on the table where the camera is pointing at. Um, where Jaap uh, changes the, the connection of the, uh, the digital cables from the Ethernet, Ethernet cables. Yeah. And, um, well, we listen. Yeah, you listen. I know uh, how they measure. Yeah. I did uh, some measurements on the switches for the past couple of weeks. It's been a <laughs> hell of a job. And whoever follows us on Facebook uh, has seen some graphs, I think. Uh, after every listening session today, I'm going to show the graphs and hopefully find some... Yeah. Correlation between measuring and listening. Yeah, and so far it's been an 80% hit, mm. except for one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but... Um, I have to figure out uh, what really matters. I don't know either. I mean, I've done some measurements, but maybe I'm measuring the wrong thing, or maybe I have to look in another spectrum or whatever. But I've seen, I've heard one funny thing about rhythm. Yep, and that's a, that's a that's a funny one. So, um, yeah, well, the reference system is of course the same for the people that just tuned in. Uh, TAD Evolution 2 speakers. Uh, I use the AAI MIDI pucks in this uh, session. They're not mine, they have to go back. Um, Pulse Labs Pre and Power Amp. Metrum, like uh, Martijn said. Metrum Ambre Rune Endpoint. We're using Rune today. Yep. Uh, Sonnet Pasitea DA Converter. And there's just a coaxial cable in between. No reclocking what we normally do. Nothing like that. Uh, everything is filtered with Isotech, uh, the Titan for the power amp, and the Aquarius for the sources, except for the Pass Labs preamp because he doesn't like it. Uh, and yet the power cables and uh, Driade Flow speaker cables. Well, I'll finish the list then. <laughs> um, but no fancy Ethernet cables whatsoever. No. And for no. the uh, switches, we use the power supplies, which were uh, uh, all, all stock. So yeah, stock, stock spool. Everything stuff, is stock. Sorry, stuff. <laughs> stock, <said>. stock spool. <laughs> I'm sorry. I Drop Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, everything is stock. No <laughs> linear power supplies. No fancy tweaks whatsoever. No, nothing like that. Uh, yeah. Let's continue with the test. Uh, maybe, uh, because I, th I think our coffee is finished. I'll grab the okay. coffee. Maybe yep. you can, um, uh, for the people that just tuned in, say what your first one, two, three, four. Yep. I will sum it up. Five. Yeah, six. five. Six. 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 Yep. What your first six switches experiences were. Yep. Then I'll grab the coffee. Yep. Um, well... We had uh, six different uh, switches. Uh, one of them was um, the first one. Um, yeah, you don't know which one was playing. I don't know what's playing. So with the first one, um, I had a feeling that the um, the imaging was really nice on the and on that one. Um, compared to, we listened the first time before we started the first switch. We listened to it without a switch at all, just directly co uh, coupled. Um, it was more clear and more um, uh, less. Um, uh, it was less nervous sounding uh, a lot. Um, with switch number two, um, 
with the talking heads, um, the bass was deeper. And um, the funny thing was that the image was a lot flatter than with the first one. Um, it was a little bit more richer in reverb, especially in the um, um, in the piano piece that we use, which is uh, Scriabin uh, Sonata in D uh, minor, uh, played by Yevgeny Shubin. Um, switch number three. Uh, the reverb was a lot longer and uh, more three D in the soundstage itself, so you heard it echoing away from you. Uh, trenches were very fast in that one. Uh, the rhythm was more on point. Um, and again, with the piano, the reverb in switch number three was really um, the, the thing which stood out. In switch number four, um, the bass was a little, more, little bit more rumbling. It was less clear. Um, there was a dry tick in the sound of the drums, uh, especially uh, in the talking heads. A bit harsher in sounds, less separation. Um, with the piano, the piano notes, I experienced it more richer, but that was not rich in the sense of that there was probably more layering from a deeper bass in um, the sounds of the mids, but it was a lot harsher in sound. It wasn't as nice. Um, the attack of the piano notes was um, pretty dry and also the decay. Yeah. Which is number five. That was, for me, up till now, the one that stood out. Um, yeah. Uh, really nice things in the talking head. Small notes in the mouth organ were really nicely separated as with the, sw the first uh, switch. Uh, the bass had a lot of texture in it, so the bass notes from uh, uh, from Tina Weimuth were uh, really nice. And I heard the strings actually of her, of her bass guitar. Um, but with the piano piece, oh man, that was perfect. Uh, I said perfect, <laughs> not with four exclamation marks, but with five exclamation marks, actually. Uh, uh, why was it perfect? Maybe not as so much in the sound. So if you, if I would listen objectively without any f kind of feeling uh, or emotion to to the sound of the piano on all the switches, maybe I would point out another one as being better, actually. Yeah. But th it's about the music. I mean, we don't listen to sounds, we listen to music. So with the piano notes, the melody line in... Um, uh, switch, but switch number five, that was the thing that grabbed me, uh, really. Uh, and I noticed this piece and it should sound like that. Um, with switch number six, the last one before the break, um, well, the bass was again a bit more swimming. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the guitars were sharper again, but the rhythm was very much on point, but a little bit in flux. It doesn't, it didn't, I don't know how to express it, but it wasn't like... Um, as precise as you would like yeah. to have it. And that's probably due to the difference in bass and mids and highs that I noticed. So there's something off there yeah. in, in the speed between the, the different uh, different uh, frequencies. Um, with the piano, the small notes, the attack was very audible. Um, um, but again, for me, the bass felt less connected to the other notes. So there was a bigger gap bet in between. The pacing was nice again, uh, but the rhythm was a bit stop-go for me. So the attacks of the notes were a bit sharp and the decay was very short, which, um, as opposed to the previous switch, number five, where there was a connection between the notes, that connection was uh, lost for me. So yeah. we're up to switch number seven. Yep. Yep. Um, I'm not going to replace that one because one of the connections is a little bit uh, wobbly mm. uh, and it's up and running now um yeah i can play i you can just play and uh it it will be working oh. so i'll switch the microphones uh have fun Sorry for the blisters on our feet Come riding in a bus Yeah. 
family to take this little trip. Driving all the way up, it's pretty below. Mommy, Daddy, you and I, even little kids get ready to go. Mommy, Daddy, you and I, I chilly, chilly. Okay, we don't we type too loud <laughs> in in the piano piece. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I have to comment on stuff and yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so that this, this was very different from the other ones. Um, the <laughs> uh, soundstage was very wide, but it was like felt compressed, like 16, 16 to nine. You know, Fuck. a sixteen to nine one. Uh, you are freaky. <laughs> like this. Um, 
the 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 decay and reverb, especially the with the talking heads in the, in the star, there is the slide guitar which has a few notes. Yeah. And there's a decay, a beautiful if done right, like with the um the first one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Decay uh, is um is very nice, and also in the depth. So you 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 hear you hear the sound of the decay of the slide guitar going away from you. That was a nice one. Yeah. But then it did let let me a bit down. Oh. Because the um, the bass was a bit woolly sounding for me. It was a bit womp womp. It bass. was more pronounced. I uh, I, uh, I agree. Yeah. Uh, the drums were very much recessed in the background, but that was because of the highs not very prominent. So the That's high awesome. notes were lacking, and uh, the shaker, for instance, and the melody line, melody guitar on the on the right side, uh, were l much more recessed in the soundstage as a result. Mm -hmm. So it was. Yeah. More bass, less highs, and in the mids a bit. Well, I said compressed, but I don't know. It it it. The mids were not as nice as it could be because hmm. when the piano, I heard it. Um, that the mid tones were a bit wobbly. Um, it was not as quiet as it could be in the background for my feeling. Mm -hmm. I, I, it it made me feel a bit stressed. Although again, here. The, the connection between the notes, so the small notes in the start and the silence in between, yeah. there was still a connection between the notes. So it did a few things good, but it did a few things worse than other switches. Funny. Yeah. Uh, people in the chat already know what, uh, what we are looking at, but I'm gonna show our uh, measurements anyway. Uh, let me see if I can find them because there are uh, uh, yes. uh, here it is yeah uh, now I have to find the right ones because I did a lot of them on this one um, oh no that's the wrong one damn sorry people I have to find them in the article because it's uh, here on oh yeah here it is uh, because this one was actually uh, different um, I need to find this one Ugh, my mouse doesn't like the static the yellow and the purple one are the one we were looking at and as you can see uh, the noise is pretty much uh, non-existent <laughs> um, that that's logical because you know what was playing and um then there uh, can't actually be any port noise at all uh so that's really low and i think that's why we heard the sliding guitar uh, a little bit better and uh, some other things we know are different yeah uh, from normal switches let's put it that way um this is uh with no load at all and uh, as you can see it's uh well it's not not as low as some other uh switches we have in this test that was the funny part but i think we're, we are still talking about a port an electrical signal it's just that there is <laughs> we're really nerds are we <laughs> yeah 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 there, <laughs> we are and you can lower this a lot by using uh, another external power supply i noticed uh, this is loaded and as you can see there's hardly any rise that, that was uh, really surprising it's actually 15 decibels lower um, uh, in the maximum range uh, so this is uh, minus 75 and a normal one can go up to minus 60 and some bad ones go to minus 55 but this range is still really low except for this peak and I think that's the switch mode power supply. Uh, so I have to figure that out by... I did, I did already some tests with uh, some linear power supplies and they're not always better. That was the, the bizarre part. Yes, they're clean towards the grid, mm -hmm. really, really clean, but they're not clean at all uh, internally no. because it's, it's really wide band. So all the noise that goes in the port will actually go through the power supply with a, without any restriction at all. It depends on the, um, on the design, of course, and some manufacturers do it really well, but other, others do it really bad. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and one of the bigger ones, uh, S-Booster, is actually really bad at blocking noise in switches. So an S-Booster power supply on your switch is not the best choice. It's really clean towards the grid, no switch mode noise at all, but internally, port to port and with load, it's bad. It's, uh, you can, I, I think the LHY did a lot better actually. In that, okay. in that regard, it's a lot cleaner. But as boosters, the, we have are uh, already a couple of years old. I'm not sure we have the latest revision or anything like that, but it doesn't matter. The older ones are bad at black blocking high frequency noise. That's, uh, so, uh, you know what I was playing. Yeah. I, I'm surprised by your comments uh, on this one. Not actually. <laughs> it's, it's really different from the other ones. It is really different from the other ones. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was a good one. Um, next. Uh, oh, yeah. I have to switch one. Yep. Also, with the S-Booster, I remember when we had our um, yeah. open dag, the, the day that uh, we had visitors here, so people were invited to, 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 to come visit us. Uh, Jaap had a demo of, um, I think it was switches again. Yeah, switches, yeah. And yeah, yeah. yeah. uh, you did put an S-Booster on one of the switches. And then I came into the room for another demo, and I was playing, and I said to Jaap, I walked out of the room and said to Jaap, Jaap, something is wrong with the system. I don't know what, but it sounds slower than it used to be. Used to be. Yeah. And then Jaap said, um, we were pointing at some pieces of equipment. Yeah. And then I said, hey, what's this? And Jaap said, yeah, that's the S-Booster. It's on the, on, the, on the switch. And then we took it off, and <laughs> it sounded different. You know? Yeah, th th that was also a trigger. Like, are they slower in some regards? And actually, yes. Uh, a switch mode power supply, uh, like the iFi, a good one, is faster in uh, impulse response mm -hmm. than an S-Booster. But it doesn't make any sense that you can hear that on a switch. I mean, it's not <laughs> amplifying anything. <laughs> so it was really weird. That was really weird. Yeah. So I don't think that's actually a link. <laughs> like, wow, it's better in impulse response. But um, it blocks less noise. Yeah. Uh. So maybe that's the the noise going back into your clocking system or that makes the transient information less snappy or I and it this needs a lot more research. Yes. Yeah. But that was a funny one. That yeah. was a really funny one. And um uh, well your ears are still uh up to par. So you're doing good. They still work, yeah. They still work, even after a Christmas dinner. Yes. Uh yeah. Um I have to switch the microphones. The other one, it's already up, I think. Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's uh, go. He's sorry for the blisters on our feet Come riding in a bus, the high and the low Mommy, Daddy, you and I We're going on a trip and not going home Mommy, Daddy, you and I Bought 
changes day by day We still ain't got no plan How we gonna make our way In this foreign land Well, we'll keep driving Keep driving Yeah. Wow, that's different. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, only a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, the bass was very pronounced and very deep and very prominent. Yeah, it was not very tight. No, it was a li little bit rumbling. Yes. Yeah. Less reverb, but to me, in the talking heads, the mouth organ was hardly noticeable. While well, that's a part where normally st stands out. Yeah, it, it it it's the it's the foundation on which the song is built. So yeah, that's it was weird. That was, was weird. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and there was a lot of harshness in the melody guitar. It was very metal sounding uh, at the end. Um, yeah. The, the 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 attacks were very much in your face. It was transi transient. Was like boom. Yeah, I um, said it was ear piercing sometimes. Like yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was very rhythmic on point, but it was not pleasant sounding. And also with the piano, I mean, the timing was very good. The timing of the piano notes was really spot on. Uh, but mm. um, it was harsh in the higher notes. Yeah. And, um, and there was almost like there was a hiss um, in the sound. Like, I thought, was I hearing the recording microphones or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, I, d I don't know what that was. But it was more like, yeah. uh, like I really heard a hiss. Mm hmm. Um, strange. Yeah, that was odd. I, I I know. But the other one was really quiet. Yes. So the the difference couldn't be bigger. Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, I did it a little bit on purpose, <laughs> of course. But um, yeah. 
No. Uh, yeah, it was a big difference. Uh, so let, let me uh, guide you through the uh, measurements. Well, you know what the previous one was. Uh, this one um, was uh, not as quiet. <laughs> Let's say that. It's not as... Um, how do you say it? Yeah. Not as messy as uh, two other ones we already uh, had, but the noise of the uh, with the loaded port is really high, really high. Uh, I think this one was the worst uh, in terms of loaded noise. So the 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 isolation between the ports is really bad. Okay, that's not good. No. So if you have, uh, for example, like a stream is a constant bitrate going through the switch mm -hmm. and it leaks to the other sw uh, switch ports, that's bad. Yeah. And if you have like a TV uh, or an access point, like a Wi-Fi access point connected to this one, it, it will definitely be uh, leaking towards your streamer. And you don't want that. No. And it, it's, it's high from even the lowest regions normally some of them go from low to high low and then uh, in the higher frequencies like say from six megahertz and up it's it's high i don't know if that really matters but in a lower frequency range you want it to be low i think what i from what i've heard now in this session i think that's the most important range up to 10 megahertz or something uh, but it's it's high from <laughs> just 10 kilohertz and up it's and you can see it it's all red it's it's bad this one uh but what i also uh, noticed with this switch uh, the power supply is pretty good in terms of noise but it's not stable at all it's really bad okay so that's okay uh, and the people on uh, on the stream see it right here it's going all over the place if you load it and normally you see a graph going from up to down uh, if you load it with uh, with our electronic load. But this one is going up, stays up, down, 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 and then up again. So it's not stable. This this power supply is bad. But it's not really noisy. It's, it's yeah. But these are detailed measurements you see in the written review. Uh, but that's something I noticed with this, um, uh, with this switch. It's cheap. Okay, but uh, it's not the cheapest, and uh, there are better ones for this money. Okay, uh, we're back again. Uh, next one. You're gonna switch the switch again? Yeah, I was thinking if I could say another thing, but um, uh, what's the matter with the Cisco Meraki? I can't get it to work. It's uh, I think it's still locked, and... Uh, yeah, I, I, we got it in pretty late. I thought it would work. That's my bad. But it's just, I, I don't even get an IP address. So there seems to be something wrong with this specific one. But, um, yeah, I have to uh, fix that. We'll see. Maybe in the end we'll do it. Uh, yeah, next one. Okay, and then another one. And then we'll do the last one. We have three to go. Yep. Okay. Oh, th yeah, you need to buy a switchboard to switch the switches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let, 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 like amplifiers in the store. Yes. Like speakers. yes. <laughs> <laughs> clink, 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 clink. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if that will work. No? But, oh, okay. Um, yeah, maybe we can build one, <laughs> like hardwired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's a funny thing. In, in the early days, that's how you tested speakers and, and amplifiers like okay i want amplifier one with speaker six it's a good idea it's a great idea 
But what are you actually listening to? <laughs> this is the switchboard or the or the or the equipment? I remember from stores. From, yeah. from when I was little. Yeah. Yeah. Me yeah. too. Uh, Raf in Utrecht had one, <laughs> and uh, oh man, I came. So, oh, I almost lived there during my study days. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I was there pretty much every day. Uh, the guys actually knew me, so if there was something uh, secondhand coming in that was interesting for me but i had no money at all so he said yeah i got a great speaker it's only uh, i don't know 500 bucks L which was like three months of saving for me <laughs> <laughs> yeah but i had, had some great stuff over there mm. it's uh good good times and they had this magnet speaker with the flame the plasma tweeter okay you remember that one no oh man you s could smell the ozone <laughs> so cool a, a, sm a smelly a smelly, a smelly speaker. speaker yeah it actually uh, you could smell the tweeter I mean, maybe you guys remember that one with the the, the flaming tweeter that uh, it was a plasma tweeter and you could see the flame going and, wow. and you <laughs> actually smelled ozone it was really funny um that, that's for your health by the way but <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, okay, that's a good one, uh, Grand Buffalo. Yeah, okay, I'll try. Can we go to switch number nine? Yeah, uh, it should work. Okay, it's up. It's up. Okay, okay cool. cool. says he's sorry for the blisters on our feet come riding in a bus the high and the low mommy and daddy you and i are going on a trip and not going home mommy and daddy
Wow. This is a strange one. Yeah. This is a strange one. But it did some some stuff really good. Yes, but some some stuff <laughs> not to really good. <laughs> to start with the piano piece, that was magic at the start. Really good. The those fragile notes at yeah. the beginning, those were so vulnerable and yeah. um the emphasis on the melody line was really really great with this one yeah um, i liked it the i could hear the dampers yeah on the piano strings actually yeah um yeah the pret was really good the dynamics were really good but with the talking heads um yeah the, the, something was good. I mean, the slide guitar at the left at the start yep. was pro projected very much in front in the sound stage, like with the first switch. Yes. Um, it was very much towards you. Yeah. Um, it was a deep, tight bass. I liked the, the stereo imaging as well. Yeah. It was really good. But some, yep. deta some details were missing, like completely missing, like the shaker mm -hmm. or the sound of the brush on the drums. It wasn't there. Um, some details were very different, like uh, where the singer um, is, um, I heard him inhale through the nose at some point, Yeah, which I didn't hear before. Um, and again, rhythmic, very much on point. Uh, it's a good, sharp, yes, rhythm. Yes, it's really nice in rhythm. Yeah. yeah. But some details were missing, some details were much more prominent. Um, uh, I thought this one was, um, in a lot of terms, comparable to uh, the third one. Yep. I like the balance. I think the third one was still a little bit better. It was so so good in balance. I know you liked the fifth one a lot. Um, I'm not sure, for me. Mm. But, uh, yeah, those two, I like this one also a lot. Yep. It's... Uh, it's a nice switch. With, with the uh, with with the piano music, it was really good. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> well, you're you're the guy who does the blind test. It's. Uh, um, I'm gonna show some measurements because this one is uh, also interesting. Um, yeah, there they are. So you see on screen which one it is. Uh, it's this one. Uh, these are all the measurements. As you can see, it's it's really good actually. It's uh, it's not as good as the third one but it's getting close um, port isolation is really good in the lower spectrum i'm starting to feel more and more that that actually matters and up in the 10 plus megahertz it doesn't really matter at all um, maybe because it doesn't survive that in 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 the equipment it gets filtered away or something but in the lower region this one is performing really well uh, as you can see here as well, this is the loaded port measurement. Uh, this is completely blue. It's, uh, that means that it's really low. Uh, nice, very very good performance here. Uh, idle, it's practically non-existent. It's really silent, uh, and I heard that. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. It, it's really silent. This one, yeah. I like it. Um, and the power supply is also good. So they did a good job on this switch. And that's, um, uh, Ibrich de Klein asks, uh, can you tell something about um, existing hardware being used in audiophile switches? Yeah. Um, I think a lot of the producers already heard that some switches are better than others just by auditioning them. And this one and the third one, and for you the fifth one, are already good in basses they, they sound right yep. and you can make them better by adding better power supplies better casing better shielding i don't believe in better clocks <laughs> but <laughs> you can tweak them to be even better uh Fidelizer doesn't really tweak it i think it's way ridiculously overpriced 400 bucks for adding a capacitor is just stealing money in my opinion but there are producers like lhi uh, that actually do something special. Way better power supplies, uh, which we measured. It's really silent. Uh, and um, a much better casing with thick aluminum that shields 
uh, the, the hardware from uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. It's, it's not bullshit. There is a lot of radiation in the air. That's why I, th I believe in shielded cables and shielded equipment for this uh, kind of uh, uh, streaming. Um, so yeah, uh, this one sounded right. It measures good, just like the third one. And the first one, maybe we can do it in the end if we have yep. some uh, some time, because now you really got adjusted to the system. Um, the last one, no, 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 the second last. I hope the other one uh, now works. Um, yeah, and like I said, the detailed measurements about power supplies, stability and noise are in the written article because otherwise I'm just nerding out here on the couch and we already are nerding out on the couch. <laughs> yeah, very much so. Very much. So. I mean, we're listening to network switches. Come on, guys. It's ridiculous, but <laughs> you can hear a difference. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, what's your opinion t up to now? Well, the last one was, was nice. I mean, there were some things lacking, but up t for me, switch number five still was the one. It's the one to beat. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Ah, it's there. Already? Damn, that's fast. <laughs> it's a fast switch. I, 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 I like <laughs> unmanaged switches. They're <laughs> really fast. They don't need to load any hard, any software. It's just on. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, uh, this one is a little bit odd. Uh, you can't actually buy it anymore. Uh, so don't try to find it. I bought the last one. It was just for fun. And uh, see what, uh, what happens. Um, so yeah, this is a piece of archaeology. Yes, some <laughs> sort of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, it is. Uh, I just you you know how I selected the hardware. I just said on on bold.com. It's like an Amazon in Holland. Uh, list all switches from this price to this price, and I bought them all. <laughs> 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 That's how I did it. <laughs> uh, and of course the audio file switches uh, I borrowed because otherwise we I would be bankrupt now. But that's how I did it. <laughs> I just bought all the cheap stuff there is. <laughs> it's all cheap. So okay. uh, yeah, there, there we, we go. go. Sorry for the blisters on our feet Come ride me in a bus The high and the low Mommy, Daddy, you and I We're going on a trip And not going home Mommy, Daddy, you and I
gonna make our way in this foreign land. Well, we'll keep driving, keep driving. Wow, this one is weird. <laughs> well, let's keep it. Uh, let's keep it buried it down again for uh, archaeology purposes because, uh, well, mm, that was weird. It was like the uh, the the slide guitar on the left was sit playing in an isolation booth. <laughs> it was just. <laughs> I, I did something with this one uh, to 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 demo something. The where was the piano? Where did yeah, you it was way piano? in the back. <laughs> uh, people are already noticing. Why do I use the last four ports? Um, well, uh, first of all, the 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 port you choose doesn't doesn't matter at all on the okay. switch. It, it doesn't. I measured it. It's exactly the same for every port. But this switch has a PoE mode and a non-PoE mode. Yeah. And it uses different isolators. And there's a huge difference between the non-PoE and the PoE ones. Um, and I, I use the PoE just to fuck with your mind. Yeah, no, well, you don't have to fuck with my mind because there was... Uh, well, um, it was and, so, so, um, so ridiculous. It, it was really bad. Uh, but this one in PoE mode measures really horrible. <laughs> really? <laughs> really horrible. Oh, I'm surprised. So I'm I'm glad that <laughs> this one is <laughs> awful because it measures awful. Um, let me share the, the measurements so you can see. It's uh, it's funny. Uh, I have to switch the one. Can we just for for, for the record uh, listen to, uh, to it uh, a small bit? Without the PoE port on the other port. Yeah, 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 I'll switch it later on because the actually the non-PoE port is pretty good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, as you can see, this is the loaded port spectrum graph, and it's way up there in the start of the graph, so in the low frequencies. It's even white here. It's it's literally off the scale. The the noise. Uh, this is the non-loaded. That's actually not that bad. Uh, it's minus 70. I don't think you can hear that, but it's kind of restless. Uh, this is the power supply noise. <laughs> it's just completely off the scale. Um, I think that actually leaks into the uh, port. Uh, yeah, it's just completely red. It's, uh, this one is not really audiophile. Let's keep it that way. Uh, this one is uh, on the prism uh, low frequency noise of the power supplies and you can see that the purple one uh, is loaded uh, green is oh yeah green is load uh, and the green one is the poe so it goes way above the rest uh, that's why i choose the poe one this is the only poe switch we have 
And well, um, let's say don't use PUE switches for audio. It's bad. Uh, even if you don't actually activate the PUE, it's not activated because the, the ombre. It's funny that you say it because um, I know that uh, the Cisco 2960 managed switch yeah. is uh, sought after by audio audiophiles. Yeah. It's kind of a, a, a meme, uh, yeah. or how do you call it? Something people really dig, uh, are digging. Yeah. But that's a PoE switch. Yeah, you can disconnect the PoE power supply, just like with the, the Merakis that are very popular and are really good. Uh, if you disconnect it, you see the noise gets lower. Okay. Just disconnect the PoE power supply, but don't leave it attached and use PoE ports because you get higher noise. I once had a 2960 uh, at home and I I was lucky to, s to sell it on again because yeah. it was not as good. No, no uh, if you don't disconnect it, it it's not good. Okay. Uh, I'll switch for fun uh, to the non-PoE yep. and you can hear the difference, yeah. I hope. Because I, I was... Well, let's, uh, let's yeah. see. Uh, Shall we try then the piano piece? Yeah, just use the piano. This one should be pretty fast. Okay, if it's up there, uh, yeah, yeah, go. Well, that was a lot better. Yeah, and I can show you why, people. Uh, we weren't meant. We didn't mean to be rude to the producer of that switch. He doesn't. He couldn't care less because one, it's not available anymore. Two, it's not made for audio. So yeah, some people said we were uh, not really polite, but. Um, <laughs> oh, you missed his comment. Oh, I, I, I'm. Then I completely misunderstood you because. Yeah, well, whatever. L let me show you the difference <laughs> in measurements because it's ridiculous. The normal ports are actually really good. Uh, this is loaded. This is not loaded. There's hardly any difference. I don't know what they did, but they did a good job. <laughs> uh, it's 100 megabits native, so it's no gigabit uh, anything. Uh, and it's uh, this is the difference between normal and PoE. I mean, anyone can see the difference. This is low frequency noise and there's no low frequency noise. This is all green and this is white red and then it starts green, but it's much more noisy than the other one. 
So I'm glad we both hear the difference. Yes. Uh, I haven't listened to the PoE ports uh, previously, but I, I just didn't want to listen anymore. It, no. it was really not pleasant. No. Let me try the last one once again. Um, and then I think the, uh, the first one again. Yeah, the first which I would like yeah. to hear it again, yeah. Hey, I think I see. Uh, yeah. I see a. Uh, yeah. Oh, thank God. So thank you very much for pointing me towards resetting this thing. Uh, thank you. Didn't okay. th didn't think about that. It works. Yes. That's great, sure. great, great, great. So uh, makes me l really happy. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All the way from Baltimore, we couldn't find a seat. Conductor says he's sorry for the blisters on our feet. Come riding in a bus. Take advantage But saying it don't make 
Yes. yes. Okay. So, what do you think? Um, with like uh, switch number one and switch number nine, the slide guitar on the left was brought forward. Yeah. Uh, there was a deep sound in the bass, very deep. Yeah. Uh, and very neat also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was nice. Yeah. The pret is good. Yeah. But to me, it sounds a bit slower overall. <laughs> um. Slower. Slower. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's not as on point as some of the others. Um, and what struck me is that the melody guitar is less prominent, although, which I didn't understand why, because there was a lot of, of great details in the brushes, in the shaker, and yep. a lot of air in the mids and up. Yeah. Um, so it did a lot of things very nice. Yep. Yeah. Um, with the piano, there was a rich tonality in the lower and uh, the mids of the of the of the piano. Yeah. A very quiet background because I could hear all kind of small details in the um, in the piano playing. True. I did like the piano a lot on this one. Yeah. But the melody line was not as fluid as number five. Uh, yeah, but you also thought that with the um, first one. Yeah. And another one. I'm not sure which one it was. Yeah. Uh that that's that's cool. <laughs> uh it's it's a good one, this one. Yeah. I do like it. Yeah. And let me do some moderation because of course there are trolls. I expected that with yeah. this with this stream. Um let me show you the measurements of this one. Uh, I have to share my screen again. Here we go. Okay. So this is the switch we're talking about. The people in the stream already know, of course. Uh, these are all measurements we have here. This is the modified version. Um, I'll show you the normal version in a minute because the differences are not subtle. I run a normal version for a long time now uh, with PoE disabled on the board. Uh, this one is even better, of course, uh, and he mainly uh, brought a better power supply. And it's a linear power supply, so maybe that's why it's slower. Could be. I, I'm not sure if that's always the case, but I did, yeah. Uh, so, power supply noise is way down compared to the normal switch mode power supply, of course. Uh, the only thing that uh, is not tackled is this small peak here and that's only when the port is loaded um, overall the noise is very low on this on this switch but yeah, that's, that you hear that yeah, yeah the normal one is already good yeah. the modified one is even better yeah. uh, so as you can see here noise is really low except for this peak and it doesn't disappear with the mod in the modified version. The normal one has it as well. I think it's some sort of chip inside that uh, has some switch noise. Uh, idle noise is way lower than the normal one. I'll show you the normal one in a minute. Uh, see, this is the blue one, it's the power supply. It's really noisy. And that influences the idle state and the loaded port because that even goes higher in the normal one. So yeah, see, it's all a little bit higher than the modified version, especially the power supply. That's not odd because the power supply is built in, in this one. And what I noticed is if you build in a power supply, you need to shield it really, really well. Mm -hmm. uh, with non-modified versions like uh, industrial grade Cisco switches, it's good, but you always see power supply noise being transmitted through the ports mm -hmm. doesn't matter because it's not made for audio it's made for, for packet data. yeah for data and yeah. th they don't care yeah. <laughs> if it works it works yeah. but with audio you want it to be really silent uh, but this one is doing well yeah. uh, and i think we could hear that that's uh um back to number one yes because that was the first one i heard and that was when well the christmas party was still uh, having its effect a little bit, I think, for me. Yeah. 
Uh, and then I think one track back to baseline. Yeah, that's Four. fine. Yeah. And then we're finished, people. Okay. should be up i think mm, let's see yeah it's up okay um oh we were mentioned on some forums that's why they're trolls we don't normally have that many trolls on our live streams this one is pretty bad in terms of trolling but uh, we expected that so who cares we're not doing it for the trolls we're doing it for you ready Play. yep uh yep, yep. go All the way from Baltimore, we couldn't find a seat. Doctor says he's sorry for the blisters on our feet. Come riding in a bus, got high and low. Mommy, Daddy, you and I were going on a trip and not going home. Mommy, Daddy, you and I, I drive.
So, going back to the first one, um, did you change your mind? Yeah. Yeah? Um, the, um, the sound stage is huge. Yeah, it's really big. Um, I immediately noticed that. Yeah. It's yeah. A lot, uh, there's a lot of, uh, lots of air in the highs and the mids. Yeah. But the sound stage is also a little more drier than uh, the other ones, some of the other ones. Ambience. Yep. Yeah. And um, it's a bit sharper in the highs. Yep, I noticed that as well. But it could be that it's the recording in this case. Um, with the talking heads. Uh, the pred is good. Uh, so the pacing and the rhythm is good. But also feeling a tad slower like with number nine. Mm -hmm. And in the voice you hear better how he sings the words. That was the thing that stood out the most to me now. Yeah. Is... The, the the words he sings and the intention with with which he sings the words so you can easily follow what he sings yeah 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 intangibility it's called yeah yeah yeah, Intangibility, yeah. yeah that's uh, uh you know, we're not native speakers obviously uh yeah i noticed that as well it, it, it it's i didn't change my mind i th still think the image is really big yeah. bigger than the others yes um it's very detailed but the mid high mid highs are a bit too pronounced for yep. my taste uh, and with the Yevgeny Sudbin the piano it was very quiet in the background so yeah. there were a lot of and um there were a lot of microdynamics in the piano so in the 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 notes he plays and the small notes and the variation mm -hmm. in which he presses the keys in the the very soft sounding notes yeah. that stood out and also the small notes were really separated yeah 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 true but I, it's like a surgeon yeah but that is at the cost of fluidity yeah um there are some uh, uh people that want to hear the baseline and the fiber again okay cuz i'm going to this all uh, i'm going to uh save you from uh, guessing but guess which one this was I think it's the one I reviewed. <laughs> yeah, fuck, you're freaky. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, but that's the, the, the detail, the, the surgeon-like detailness. Yeah. That um, uh, I, I had it at home, and I really had to plug it right into the wall because if I had it plugged in into the in my power conditioner, it was far too much. That was unpleasurable. It is Pleasant. a uh, different kind of switch. This yeah. one they modified it really heavily. Yes. Uh, they used the Cisco uh, base board, which is a good choice. I know. Um, first one was the LHY. Mm. Second one was a managed D-Link 1210. It was pretty noisy mm -hmm. overall, but decent hardware. Third one, we like both, was a Netgear 108E. That's a very common. Very common, very popular, cheap switch. 40 great. bucks. That's great. 40 bucks. Yeah. It's amazing. Yes. Uh, the fourth one was your Cisco, the 105D. With a normal power supply, of course. Yeah. Because I know if you tweak it, it will perform better. But the bass is not that great. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, so for all the people with a 105D, either buy a Netgear or use a decent power supply to make a huge jump in quality. Yeah. I don't really like this one. No. The fifth one was a TP-Link. Seriously? Yeah, I don't like it, but the brand... But it did perform pretty well. It performed really well, yeah. Yeah, it's cheap. It doesn't measure that great. Uh, but you liked it. Mm -hmm. I didn't like it with the first track. I agree that the piano was very decent. No, it was perfect. No, Five it, it wasn't perfect. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, okay. But that's a matter of... I, I yeah. didn't like the first track. I did like the piano. It did, yeah. it did perform... Uh, 
uh, better than expected. Yes. Let's say that way. Yeah. Uh, the sixth one was an audio file uh, switch, the Pura. Uh, 1900 bucks. Uh, yeah. Uh, I did like the balance in that switch. But... Uh, Not for me. No. Uh, it was very calm. Uh, it... It had a huge stereo image, just like the LHY. Uh, so they did better than average. But I think for 1900 euro, uh, it should be better, I think. Because the LHY is 850. Yeah. Yeah. But it, the switch number one, the LHY, is very much a taste thing. Yeah. And I think with that's the same with six. Yeah, the LHY is not my cup of tea. No, n neither is not. Uh, but for people that like a huge image and a lot of detail, that could be your thing. Or with systems that are not really resolving, you yes. can boost the uh, yes. the detail, I definitely. Think, I think it's uh, because I tested it on the decks of some uh, amplifiers yeah. that I have at home right now. Yeah. It does miracles. Yeah, oh, I completely believe that yeah 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 i do believe that yeah. but with the um Pasitea, it's uh I, I if you have that level of deck yeah it's, it's then it's i don't think that the lhy is the best choice I, i'm not saying that the Pasitea is like a surgeon because it's really fluid and neutral mm -hmm. but it is a highly resolving deck yes. and if you combine a switch like this it's just too much too much yeah uh, That's a too much thing again. Yep. Seven was uh, fiber, and you are one freaky pair of ears, because you always say the same with fiber. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's good, but <laughs> <laughs> it's like exactly what the stereo image. I thought, oh fuck yeah, again. It's uh, oh, oh, I shouldn't swear on YouTube because we will get banned. Um, yeah, so that was fiber. Uh, I do like fiber. Mm -hmm. um, Eight was the Edamax, really cheap plastic switch. Uh, we didn't like it, both. No. Uh, so that's short. Uh, ten was the, uh, sorry, uh, nine was the D-Link 108, and it's a really popular switch for modifying. And I get that. It, it sounds yeah, it's very sounds nice. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it was balanced. Yep. Yeah. And I like the rhythm. I yep. don't know why, but that is I, good. I did Dynamics. like the rhythm yeah. in that switch. It's like the time. Maybe, yeah. Uh, 10 was the cheap as PoE switch, uh, which we just wanted to switch off. Yes. Yeah. But what, what's the brand? TXE64. It, I didn't even know it. Okay. It was in the list like, oh, it exists. It's cheap. <laughs> Bye. Let's try. Yeah. Let's try it. It has an, I an internal power supply which is horribly shielded. There's no shielding at all. Mm. Uh, and I could immediately see that in the measurements. Like, holy shit, this is really all over the place. Uh, but it eased my mind <coughs> because we were both annoyed yeah, by the restlessness in yeah. the in the imaging. No. And 10 was the Cisco Meraki 220 Yeti edition. And that's a really popular switch yep. for modifying. Uh, I use the base version. I really like it. And it's not even modified and it's already very good. Um, but what I what struck me is that you were discussing the rhythm and pacing mm -hmm. every time they used an internal clock. An really? high-end clock, yes. Okay. Like the rhythm is a little bit off. The r I don't like the rhythm. The rhythm is something, there's something with the pacing in the LHY. Yep. You mentioned it. Pura. You mentioned it. And those two have audiophile clocks. I don't know if that, that is the thing then, but it, it could be. It could be the overall architecture of those kind of switches. Could be. I don't know. They both use a linear power supply internally. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Not sure what it is. Uh, I have to say though that um, it's a taste thing. It's it's uh, something I'm seem to be very um, how do you call it sensitive to it. Yeah. Uh, and it's something that I 
I like in, 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 in audio that the rhythm and the pacing is, is right. Spot that's, on. Uh, yeah. uh, that's yeah. Snappy. Yeah. Which I prefer, obviously. Um, almost, I would say. But um, um, I can understand that people like with the LHY. Yeah. Uh, I mean it if I had it combined with the decks of a Cyrix classic, Cyrus Classic and with the deck of the um, Rega uh, Illicit Mark yeah. V. Yeah. Yeah. And if you have a Rega Illicit or something like that, an amplifier, a mid-range amplifier with a deck in it, and you combine it with the LA, uh, LHI switch, yeah. it's way too much, I think. No, it's it's uh, with, with the... Oh, in terms of pacing, uh, no, the rhythm. Uh, the, the, the total, uh, what you get as a result yeah. is, is great. I it's mean, great, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For a lot of people, I think if you have uh, an, an amplifier, a mid-range amplifier with a deck built inside, and you don't have power conditioning or whatever, and then you put on something like the LHY or one of the other, yeah. like this Meraki uh, switch, uh, in, um, that's the, uh, switch number 11, mm -hmm. um, you will get a result with, with which makes you very happy. Yeah. Because so. the result is like uplifting your amplifier until a, a, a better class, almost. I think so, yeah. Um, but if you have these kind of de deck and this kind of don't. stuff, no. don't and get something decent, and we heard some decent uh, options. Yeah, 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 definitely. For yeah. 40 bucks. So, oh, uh, what is your top three? I think my top three is, uh, well, number one is to switch to number five for me. Yeah. Uh, the second one, I'm doubting between switch number 11 and nine, but I think that the um, 11 was a bit better than number nine. Yeah, so the Cisco Yeti edition. Yeah, and then number and nine. And then the D-Link 108. Yep. And you like the TP-Link best. Yes. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I I know you will will uh, hold this against me forever, but I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. No, well, it's your top three. Uh, for me, number three, definitely. Yeah. I like the Netgear 108. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's a really good switch. Uh, I like the Cisco Yeti as well, very much. Um, and I'm still a fiber guy. Okay. Yeah, I like the calmness of fiber and the 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 the, the blackness. Um, I'm not as sensitive to rhythm and pacing as you are. I think mm. that's that that's the thing. I, I I do know what you mean, but it doesn't annoy me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the, the 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 weird thing with uh, with the uh, the the fiber is the sound stage. Yeah, the imaging is definitely different. That's that's strange. Yeah. I, I do like my own setup now with the managed switch yeah. tweaked and copper. It's better than the <coughs> fiber option. But if you want a cheap fix uh, and want something significantly better than the, your router and want the blackness and calmness of a high-end switch, then fiber is your thing. Yeah. Um, is it perfect? No. No, but I, I find it strange that... It, that compared to all the other switches, mm -hmm. that the soundstage is so different. Yeah. Uh, like it's a, 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 a movie screen, you know, 16 by yeah. 9. Um, it is really different. It's really different, yeah. Let's find out. I'm going to yeah. switch to fiber and see if we can reproduce it again. Um, great test. Conclusion, there are differences. Now you can put science on it. Why? Yeah, yeah. That, that's what we're going to do. Um... Okay, yeah, fiber. It is. Okay, it should be on. It's not there yet. No, but it, it should be. Oh, it's. Oh, fuck. See? Die was lam. <laughs> Gaat er weer aan. De connector is lam. Oké. Okay. Ja. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. Oké. Okay. One second. Um, which track is best? Uh, what do the people want to hear? Do they want to hear the talking heads or do they want to hear the piano piece? More piano. Piano? Yeah. Okay. 
Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes, we have to round off. Uh, yep. Let's go to baseline uh, because I have to really get home because yep. my wife needs to get somewhere. And we've been online way too long, but it was really interesting. Yep. Let's do piano once again. Uh, yeah. Yep. Go. Go. Different. <laughs> Different, yeah. 
Um, for me, Fiber had more calmness, more blackness, and this was a little bit more restless, yeah. especially in the harmonics. But I have to admit, there is more reverb. There's more reverb, yeah. Uh, this is a huge difference for me. I, I, on the couch, it's absolutely a no-brainer. I can do this blind, easily. Yeah. And you too, you, pr you proved yourself today, again, uh, by, well, I think, uh, did, did you feel it was fiber? No. I, no? I, I, but you had the same comments every time. Yeah. When I demoed fibers, like, yeah, but. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now I'm not sure uh, I want those ears. No, me neither. He has freaky ears. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, you can't borrow them. <laughs> can, can, can you listen to mediocre stuff with them? Yeah, I can. I have I have a small GBL uh, bl uh, Bluetooth, Bluetooth speaker, speaker yeah. at home, which yeah. sounds yeah. crap, of course. But I mean, if I'm doing stuff, I'm, if I'm painting outside, uh, yeah. or, or my house, or whatever, or I'm it's fine. doing stuff, it's fine. If yeah. I'm on holiday and it's the fine. only thing that I have is that small Bluetooth speaker, then it's the best thing I have at that yeah. moment, and I can enjoy it, no problem. It's the same for me, yeah. but uh, I did change my loudspeakers and amplifiers uh, at home because I got really spoiled with the TADs yeah. and I couldn't listen at home but sometimes I listen at home and I want to enjoy my music and I wasn't enjoying the music anymore yeah. uh, that's why I changed it to, to, to active sp uh, speakers uh, and I wanted active for a long time and now was the time but at friends yeah. I'm but fine uh, for the comment on the mediocre it's um, mediocre um, means mediocre sounding it doesn't have anything to do with the price because nope. I heard very expensive stuff, oh, yeah. which I really didn't like. Yeah. And I heard some stuff which is r affordable in the affordable range, like the System Audio 5.2 Silverback speakers, the active speakers, mm. which I still think are wonderful to listen to. They're so relaxing. It's musical enjoyment. And that's what it's about, musical enjoyment. And um, you can find music enjoyment with cheap stuff and with expensive stuff <laughs> and anything in between so um it's about um finding the thing that makes you happy to listen to it that's the important point thing. true you have to enjoy it and uh, uh patrick uh, says can we take Jaap seriously he doesn't play vinyl i do i have a record player now yes it's over there you don't see it on screen but yes. i i do uh jung uh, was kind enough to borrow his uh his STD turntable and his Primara R35. It's a really nice combo. And there's actually Jazzmatazz there. I was playing it Friday. Uh, it's a nice album. Um, I don't play vinyl at home. No. Uh, which active speakers, Jaap? Uh, I will reveal that in uh, another written story. Because uh, I haven't paid for them yet. But I'm going to pick them up on Tuesday. Um so that will remain a secret for now. Uh, yeah, I think this is it. This is it, yeah. I think this, this well, Jaap, applause to you for all your hard work. And thank you. And the incredible uh, yeah. <laughs> amount of measuring that you did. Well, thank um, you for listening. I hope we will have some kind of correlation in between. There we'll, is we'll already. Okay. Yeah, there is. There's just one exception, and, and that's that stupid TP link. <laughs> that's the only uh, exception yeah. uh, the rest of the switches are pretty much in line with what yeah. you hear actually so maybe uh, there's something going on with the tp link it's the only one that's bugging me for the rest okay. i was like yeah okay, okay. Uh, it's a matter of taste but we yeah uh, we'll, we'll put it in a written story yes um so i hope you enjoyed this one um, and um, um, for the people who are uh, following us, um, remember that the amount of work that we are doing for getting these uh, live streams and, and reviews out there is, um, is astounding. We do it for you. So if you would be kind enough to support us, then uh, we would welcome that uh, a lot. Yes, definitely. Uh, because the industry uh, uh, doesn't like these kinds of tests, of course. No. Uh, but yeah we're not here for the industry we're here for you uh, i'll put the link to our patreon page uh, in the comments uh, the more people that support us the 
the longer we can go on with tests like these, yeah. these takes weeks, some uh, even months uh, to do. And uh, we need to buy uh, measuring equipment. Um, so I didn't buy a new car or a yacht or anything else. It's all in, in the measuring uh, equipment. Uh, and people that visited us know that. Uh, and well, the last open day, since then there are three new devices, four, four new devices being bought. Uh, so yeah, we really want to dig deep like tests like these. I, I love these. And especially if there's a correlation. Yep. to be found and that helps the industry actually uh, and you um so thanks for for joining us uh, you will see the written reviews or written story about it online yeah. uh, coming week yeah and um well until the next uh, live stream next year next year so happy merry christmas happy new year yeah. already uh and hope to see you on the website and yeah the next live stream will be next year okay bye 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 bye